Chapter 6, Mishnah 5. At the start of a meal that includes bread, one recites a blessing on the bread, who brings out bread from the ground. And at the end of the meal, one recites Birkat Hamazon. Once he has made the blessing on the bread, he does not need to make separate blessings for the foods eaten during the meal, even though the other foods are subject to different blessings, such as meat, on which shakal is recited, because the bread is the main part of the meal and the other foods are secondary to it. However, there are two exceptions to this rule. A, wine drunk at a meal requires its own blessing, who creates the fruit of the grapevine, because wine is important in its own right. B, once one decides not to eat bread any longer, the meal comes to an end, even though Birkat Tamazon has not yet been recited. After that point, each food requires its own blessing because the blessing on bread covers only the foods eaten during the meal proper, i.e. the bread-based courses. The Mishnah presents two cases in which it is not necessary to make separate blessings on wine drunk during or after the meal or on foods eaten after the meal. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If one recited a blessing on wine that he drank before a meal, he thereby covers, i.e. exempts, the wine that he drinks after the meal, i.e. between the main meal and Birkat Masan, and certainly the wine that he drinks during the meal. Although one must normally make a separate blessing on wine, the rule does not apply in this case, because the blessing made on the wine before the meal includes any wine drunk during the meal. Similarly, if one recited a blessing on parperes, food usually eaten together with bread, such as meat, fish, eggs, etc., that he ate before the meal as an appetizer, he thereby covers the parperes that he eats after the meal, i.e. between the main meal and Birkat Amazon. Although one usually makes a separate blessing on foods eaten after the meal, that rule does not apply here, because the blessing made on the parperes before the meal includes the parperes eaten afterwards. The Mishnah cites a dispute about the blessing made on parperes. If one recited the blessing on bread at the beginning of a meal as required, he thereby covers the parperis that he eats during the meal, because parperis is secondary to bread. But if he recited the blessing on parperis before the meal, he has not covered the bread. They shall I say, not only does a blessing on the parperis not cover the bread, it does not even cover a dish of cooked grain, such as porridge.